Recently, Bernie Sanders was in Kansas along with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in order to help stump for progressives James Thompson and Brent Welder, who both have upcoming elections. And in his speech, Bernie talked about investing in education. Right now, right now, James touched on it, Alexandria touched on it. Everybody here knows we live in a very competitive global economy. And that for our young people to secure the good paying jobs that are out there, they need a higher education. And that is why, once again, what we are seeing now from coast to coast are cities, states moving in the direction of making public colleges and universities tuition free. And substantially lowering the oppressive burden of student debt carried by millions of Americans. And our political opponents, you know, they'll tell us, well, you know, that's a great idea, Bernie, but you know, it's going to cost a lot of money. And they're right. These proposals are expensive. But we say to them, making higher education available to all Americans, regardless of incomes, is a hell of a lot better investment than giving tax breaks to billionaires and large corporations. You see, exactly. You know, the hypocrisy of the how are you going to pay for it question is just so unbelievable to me. When it comes to tax cuts for the rich or our bloated military budget, no one ever asks how we are going to pay for it. But when it comes to investing in the American people and making people's lives better, the media and our politicians act like what we want for this country is pie in the sky and that all we want is free stuff. First of all, it's not free. It's our taxpayer money that pays for these things. We should expect our taxpayer money to come back to us and benefit us in some way, as opposed to how the majority of our taxpayer money is currently being used in funding, as I aforesaid, our extremely bloated military budget. And this money isn't being used to help people. Tragically and inexcusably, we use this money to bomb people, go to war, and make people's lives worse. So much so that the world considers us to be the biggest threat to world peace in the world. And this was a poll that was conducted when Obama was still in office. So this is not some Trump poll. We have been monsters in terms of foreign policy for a long time now. And Trump has only been making things worse. He has been an absolute disaster in terms of foreign policy. So we have the money for our insanely bloated military budget, which we use to bomb people, go to war, and make people's lives worse. But we don't have the money to join the many countries around the world and guarantee health care to all of our people as a right in order to save the many people we lose per year due to lack of coverage. We have the money to give huge tax cuts to people who don't need it, but we don't have the money to join the many countries around the world and make public colleges and universities tuition free in order to address the very real issue of student loan debt. This is beyond wrong, and when I say that the wealthy didn't need this tax cut, I am not kidding. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The wealthy really need to start paying their fair share of taxes. Over the past four decades, the middle and working class of this country have seen a significant portion of their wealth get transferred to the people in this country, as aforementioned, who don't need it, aka the wealthiest people in this country. So much so that, as of 2016, the top 1% owns four times as much wealth as the bottom 80%, aka the middle and working class of our country. This idea that giving tax cuts to the rich is good for the middle and working class of this country, that the money will trickle down to middle and working class people, has been beyond debunked. We have been doing trickle down economics for the past four decades, and look, it doesn't work. The wealthy just keep all the wealth for themselves. And it's really messed up because there are a lot of people hurting in our country, and we have a lot of issues that we need to address, and education is one of them. College is really expensive nowadays, and student loan debt is a major issue in our country today as a result. And regrettably, 
a lot of people are really getting themselves behind the eight ball financially in life by getting an education. And that's terrible. Education should never be a burden. It should be something we encourage. Yet sadly, not only are a lot of people going into serious debt in their attempt to get an education, but also there are people who almost certainly decide not to go to college because they can't afford to. That should never happen in a moral and just society. We already guarantee education K-12, through and no one thinks that is crazy or pie in the sky. It's time we extend that guarantee into college. Education should be a human right, and it's beyond time that we make this a reality. Hey guys, if you want to help out this show, you can follow our various social media links. Also, we have a Facebook group that you can join as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, you could do that as well. Alright guys.